McDonald's tweets, Today, we're announcing that by mid-2018, all quarter pound of burgers at the majority of our restaurants will be cooked with fresh beef. To which Wendy's responds, So you'll still be using frozen beef in most of your burgers in all of your restaurants? Asking for a friend. McDonald's needs to stop tweeting altogether because no matter how good their beef is, their biggest beef will always be with Wendy's. Virgin Trains always effing up. Screw you and your trains. To which Virgin Trains responds with, Oh, I'm so sorry. No, really, I am. I forgot that we poured gallons and gallons of rain onto the tracks. Come on, dude. It's not like they can control the weather. I'm the only person that can control the weather like magic or editing. Burger King tweets, five for four dollars because five is better than four. Somebody tags Wendy's and goes, what are you firing back? And Wendy's goes, edible food. Ah! I mean, to be fair, when you're hungry AF, all fast food tastes the same. Like when you're really hungry, it all is good. No matter how trash it is. Or no matter how good it is, it's just good no matter what. Then maybe that's just me. So this guy goes to Wendy's, okay? And they're like, what's your name? And he goes, my name is Craig. And they write, go rag on his receipt. So he tweets and goes, stay in school, kids. To which Wendy's responds with, so sorry, go rag. It won't happen again, but it clearly happened again. And to be fair, there is nothing wrong with Gorag. Cause then you're all like, I am Gorag, slayer of orcs. Hey Twitter, here's my amazing chocolate and cheese invention that I'm eating as I tweet this. Somebody legit reported it to the police. They're like, chocolate and cheese do not go together. Who raised you? They were so offended. They literally were like, have you seen this at Police Scotland? Oh my God, you know like when you call the police? like 911, or like in some countries it's different, but here it's 911, and it's not a real You can get in a lot of trouble, and you should ever do it. Is this a real Like, could you call the police for chocolate and cheese? I don't know. Is it? It's inexcusable. It's inhuman. I'm actually kind of curious to taste it though. Is that just me? Probably just me. Donald Trump goes, Obama just endorsed crooked Hillary. He wants four more years of Obama, but no one else does. To which Hillary wrote, delete your account. I'm not picking sides over here because I'm Canadian and I don't need to pick sides. Now, regardless of what side you're on, you have to agree that this was the moment that Hillary Clinton made the presidential election a meme battle. A meme battle. And what's better than a battle? That's a meme battle. She became the troll that we all knew she could be. I was proud. But if you vote for Ozzy 2019 presidential elections, I promise to be a fair and merciful, merciless something. I, per I, I will be a good leader, a great leader. I will lead and I will lead some more. And I'll probably eat more than I lead. I'll probably eat a lot. Vote for Ozzy. Old Spice tweets a Taco Bell and goes, Why is it that fire sauce isn't made with any real fire? Seems like false advertising to us. This is when Taco Bell goes, Is your deodorant made with really old spices? Taco Bell was all like, It's nacho business. Get it? Nacho, 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 nacho. Delicious. Sorry guys, I can't even say this tweet, but he tells the person, to pretty much screw off, to do something bad, and then to burn in a place that we don't want to ever burn. To which the company responds with, maybe later, got tweets to send right now. Some companies will be open to suggestions no matter how bad they sound. So they're tweeting some rail station, okay? it out, London Overground. If I'm late one more time this month, I lose 25% of my salary. Are you lot reimbursing me? Are you guys gonna pay for my salary? I kind of rhymed. I like it. To which London Overground goes, leave early and you will not be late next time. Hope this helps. I mean, if you're late so often that you're about to lose your salary, you must be late a hell of a lot and Pretty sure the rail station is not to blame. Just saying. What I wouldn't give for Sega to make a new Jack Ryan game. To which Sega goes, what I wouldn't give to have not read your username. And the award for the funniest Twitter handle ever goes to...
If each New York City taxi carried 10 people and every patron agreed to rideshare, the city wouldn't need 85% of its taxi fleet. This person thinks they a genius. To which Margaret pretty much says this person isn't a genius because she goes, hi, this is called a bus. It exists already. Take the bus to work if this is what you want. At Royal Mail, I'd like to make a complaint. My Valentines still haven't arrived. To which Royal Mail responds with, Sorry to hear that. When exactly did your mom post them? And what service was used? <gasps> Dry! This person got- Oh man, oh man, you, you, you don't- You gotta hide. You got- you gotta- Twitter. <laughs> Can't burn Twitter. I don't know, sorry. I got no- I got no solutions for you. Caring shopping hurts so much. Screw you, Tesco. Do you even lift, bro? I mean, if you can't make it in one trip, are you even working out properly? The new Virgin trains look pretty basic, in my opinion. To which they respond and go, I think you look pretty basic, in my opinion. Damn, he was just expressing his opinion. But I mean, so was the train. You always get those people who are like, I'm allowed to express my opinion. And it's like, the person responding to you is also allowed to express their opinion. So I mean, if you're gonna criticize people on the internet, you gotta be ready for criticism back, honey, because it's probably gonna happen. Nobody likes people who criticize, but the people who criticize hate when other people come at them. And it's like, you started it. What did you think was gonna happen? Hashtag awkward. Looks like we'll just have to knock off one fifth off too. This is because the band split. This is a little bit funny. They took one fifth of the price off because one fifth of the band is missing. McDonald's goes, Black Friday, need copy and link. So the person who wrote this tweet clearly just copy and pasted it, didn't even look at it. Like you need to insert the link there. Of course, you guys guessed it. Wendy's response. When the tweets are as broken as the ice cream machine. <laughs> There's nothing worse than wanting an ice cream and then the ice cream machine being broken, which is what always happens when I try to get ice cream, damn it. When a girl wants her ice cream, she needs her ice cream or things will Get a girl some ice cream and don't die. Also, if you're not following Wendy's, like you need to right now because this is some savage AF tweets. Immediate turn off if a girl's mobile network is Tesco mobile. Are you really in a position to be turning girls away? Damn, when a mobile network tells you you have no right to be picky, boy. What's wrong with Tesco? Why are there so many tweets about Tesco? We don't have Tesco here. And if we do, I've never heard of it. When you call someone and goes to their Tesco mobile voicemail, LOL! When you realize your mates are ignoring you, LOL! I mean, I told you guys, I don't know what Tesco mobile is, but if their service is as good as their burns, they must be number one. Kayla goes, nobody likes moon pies, to which moon pies responds with, yes they do. Oh, so uh, sales are booming, goes Kayla. Moon pie goes, yep. Kayla goes, they should call you moon pie because nobody likes you. Kayla's a little mean and like, what? They should call you Kayla because that's how it's supposed to be spelled. I mean, it's true. <laughs> moon pie knows no bounds. Their savageness goes to the moon. I need to try moon pies. What are moon pies? Do I need these in my life? Is this something I need? According to Kayla, no, but according to moon pies, yeah. Samsung goes, got your hands on the Galaxy S8? Show us the first photo you took. To which Edward replies, it was a d pic. Great response, but their response is even better because Samsung goes, microscope, because that's what we need to see it because it's tiny, it's tiny, in case you guys didn't get it. Wendy's. Can you find me the nearest McDonald's? And they tweet a picture of a trash can saying McDonald's is trash. Wendy's, now you're taking it too far. You're seriously gonna hurt someone's feelings at this point. Wendy's, how do you compare to Carl's Jr.? To which Carl Jr. responds with, they don't. Yeah, for one, if we're going to diss another restaurant, we'd have more than zero likes and retweets after 13 hours. Yeah, I guess like maybe you shouldn't go dissing people who have a lot more followers than you. Unless it's like you're completely right. But if you're not completely right, you know, you know their followers are gonna have their back. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.